Greetings, Knights of YouTube. I am your Lord Commander, and welcome back to our Hammer and Anvil series right here in the lands of Westeros. This is absolutely insane. I finally figured out how to do it, how to toggle the uh, the AI off, or the UI off, but I had to have cheat mode activated. Uh, so this is what the official picture looks like. The Siege of King's Landing is underway, lads. Ah, it's just beautiful. Look at all of our kinsmen, our banners. That's amazing. Yeah, we've got Dondarians, we've got Selmies, we've got uh, Whiteheads, we've got Conningtons, we've got uh, some of some of King's Re King Renly's own clansmen, and then uh, some Valarians as well fighting with us. This is going to be absolutely epic, lads. But nonetheless, here we are. The uh, the siege of King's Landing is underway. The walls have been broken. Their siege defenses are being torn down, and all that stands in the way. Our 1300 men <laughs> but the time has come at long last to retake uh the capital city of king's landing and to lay siege to the red keep and to finally reclaim the rightful throne of our chosen king king renly baratheon the first of his name king of the andals and the first men lord of the seven kingdoms and protector of the realm and it is in his name that we lead our assault Oh, man, and here it is. Oh, it's, a, it's a shame they haven't built, like, the Red Keep as, like, a uh, a thing here yet. But still, you know, it looks, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. It definitely looks pretty good. But here we are, lads, at long last. The Siege of King's Landing is now underway. Oh, this is absolutely brutal. Jesus. Look at that. That's insane. And then, of course, we're going to roleplay it that we have men sailing in from, uh, into Blackwater Bay from, uh, from Dragonstone. That's going to be epic. Alright, I myself will obviously lead, uh, the Vanguard. I'm going to have my close friend by my side, as well as, uh, Lady Alara and Sothoros. Actually, I want them leading their own formations as well. Uh, Sothoros. Uh... Yeah, he's got ranged influence. So we can set him up there. Where are the rest of my my allies, my kinsmen? Serenid. Ranged influence. Perfect. absolutely epic all right lads i'm so nervous as to how this is gonna turn out because there, there's just so many men as well but fuck it we charge in there lads come on kill the bastards all very nice jesus There we go. Come on. Kill the bastards in the name of your king. Retake his city. I refuse to let this be another blunder like Lannisport. I'm sure that was Lady Alara out there screaming like that. You heard her? Ooh. Nice, we've gotten a little standoff with this guy. Ooh. Ah, that's tough. Damn. Ah, damn. There we go. Good shot, good shot. Ooh. Oh, that's Lady Alara. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, get in there, lads. Go on. Yeah, 
Yeah, just a full charge. Go on, lads. Go on, lads. Cut the bastards down. Come on, we gotta get men through there. Come on, we're chasing them off. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on, no mercy for the bastards. We take this castle in the name of your king. Oh. Wait a minute. Aha. Uh -huh. Troll jaws asses, that's crazy. Woo. That's a lot of green, that's what I like to see. Stormlands Knight. Yeah, very nice. Yes, come on, we made it through. Kill the bastards all. Cut the bastards down. With me, men. Loyal Baratheons all. Yeah, they have a lot of archers over here. We gotta be careful. Come on. The glorious Siege of King's Landing. Just as it was in uh, Robert's day. Come on. Another false dynasty put to the put to the hammer. Open those bloody gates, lads. We gotta let our men in here. Yeah, open up. Come on, lads. This is already turning out turning out better than Lannisport. Yeah, because we got men on all sides. They're just backed into this little corner. It's a frontal assault, or it's a full charge. No hesitation, lads. Kill the little lion bastards. Oh, oh. Oh, they have more men that just spawned in. Ooh. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're surrounded. No. No, it was a bait and switch. They got our asses. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, come on, fight to the last. Ah, oh, damn. That's crazy. How many kills have we gotten so far? We've gotten 400 kills. That's not bad, but they've gotten half that number already. That's kind of tough. Oh, come on. No, we're being forced out. Where's our reinforcements at? Come on. Yeah, look at them. They're on all sides of us. That's crazy. Yeah, they're just they're gonna end up reforming this uh, this position over here Yeah, but we have artillery guys like come on. Let's use it, please Yeah, here we go. We've got some reinforcements coming in But there's just so many of them, dude. There's just so many. Yeah, and they've got us pinned down with these archers here. That's crazy. It's because they won't move our archers up. Like, they're not doing anything. Like, look, look at all these men back here. They're not doing anything. They need to move our guys forward. There we go. Like, do something. Get some... Oh, my God. That's still a lot of red. We might end up losing this siege battle as well. Dude, that's awful. Yeah, their kills now... Uh... Oh, no, that's their dead. But yeah, so we've got more kills than them, but barely. Will it be enough, though? Come on, guys. There's 105 of my own men here. Oh no, we got 100 kills. Got it. So none of my men have actually gotten in here. Like, nine of my men. 14. I'm sweating. I'm nervous. Like, come on, dude. 
This is going to be so tough. We've already got over almost a thousand kills on them, so let's go. Come on. Let's finish this shit. Nice. My Black Forge Knights are getting in there. Not bad. Where's the rest of my men at, dude? Like, we, we have at least one more reinforcement coming. Because they, they only have these 300 men left. Like, that has to be it. Yeah, because they, they still have us pinned on this, uh, on these choke points here. Oh, actually, this might be it. This might be the final push. Yeah, this is the final push. Come on. Here comes the Stormlanders. Here comes House Tanner. Yes. Yes. Slaughter the bastards, lads. Get in there. Come on, give me... Yeah, Black Forge Stag Champion. Yeah, get in there, boys. Clear it out. The strength of House Tana. We are the Hammer and Anvil. That's amazing. Look at that. They're, they're carrying House Whitehead. That's amazing. Oh, that's beautiful. Finally, dude. And of course, it is my party to make that shit happen. Oh, thank God. I was getting so nervous, dude. Very nice. And they've retreated to the keep. We lost 10 men. Three Black Forge Knights, a Black Forge Stag Champion, a Fawnman, four Storm Stags, and a Yearling all gave their lives in this siege battle. Not to mention the 721 men that were, uh, that were killed uh, during the assault. That's absolutely insane. Yeah, my, my party alone got 259 kills. 50 of those were mine. That's nuts. Yeah, every single one of my uh, companions were, were wounded in this fight. There's still 99 men hiding within the, within the keep. Uh, we send the troops. Yeah, we have no companions to send. Uh, but we can definitely send all of our Black Forge Knights. Nice. Very nice. And just like that, lads. I will gladly take all these prisoners, actually. Very nice. Yeah, we took a lot of uh, a lot of people prisoner. That's crazy. Uh, we're actually going to show mercy as the capture of King's Landing. All right, so we did, in fact, take uh, or reinstall the uh, diplomacy mod. And the only reason is because I need that for uh, our Ironborn series and our upcoming series we plan on doing after this one. Um, it's not going to interfere with anything. I do have it set to where none of the, uh, diplomacy mod aspects are going to get in the way of like the, uh, the static wars. And the only reason I did that is because I want to make sure that we stay doing this war against the Lannisters, especially now that they're stronger than we are. Uh, but no, I'm not going to claim King's Landing for myself. The whole goal here was absolutely to give it to, uh, to King Renly. Go to the keep. Donate prisoners to the dungeons. Yeah, look at all of these lads. Jane, I'm sure this is Jane Westerling, who is technically who, uh, uh, what's his name? Who Rob marries in the books. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, there's no troops to be recruited. But we can certainly trade. There we go. We're going to upgrade uh, Sir Raynard a little bit. He fought well. He commanded his uh, his men very well during the battle of... Uh, during the Siege of King's Landing. Yeah, so now he's got kind of like uh, conquered King's Landing attire and everything like that. It looks pretty good. I can make him one of my Kingsguard. Imagine that. Ooh, I got some legendary light bolts. It's only a weapon tier 2, but it has 5 pierce damage, and it's got a higher stack amount. Yeah, I'll gladly take those. That's crazy. Yeah, and we can sell everything else. That's fine. Yeah, we're going to wait here for some time while our troops uh, heal up and everything like that. Should be, should be fine. And then, of course, we're also going to wait for the vote to pop up. So we can grant this to, uh, yeah... Yeah, vote for the new owner of King's Landing. Perfect. 
Yeah, they really tried to give it to Adrian Keltigar or Arston Somi. Like, no, sir. Yeah, fuck you guys. The lordship of this thief should go to Renly Baratheon. Thank goodness. Lovely. With his council support. Yes, finally, King's Landing is now firmly in the hands of our chosen king, Renly Baratheon himself. Alrighty, lads. So it has been suggested by the commenter who created Sir Roderick Hill of House Rain that because he took a ballista bolt to the face during our previous siege battle, uh, we will give him this massive scar. The only reason I gave him one like across the face is because it, it kind of like grazed him. So he's not dead. Obviously, if he took like a ballista bolt to the face, he would be dead. So the fact that he's still alive means that it was a near fatal shot. So this is uh, one of the best looking ones I think I could I would really use for this one. It was between this one and this one, but I, I like this one. I feel like it adds a bit more character. He's kind of got a, a handsome chiseled face, and now he's got this big gnarly scar over him. So uh, I think that's going to add a bit of character to him as well. I think he looks good, though. Also, it was suggested by one of our channel members that uh, using the name Doran when there is a Prince Doran of Dorn already kind of etched into like history and like the actual lore of game of thrones uh we did change the name of our uh of our son and heir but only a minor change and there is a bit of a lore friendly background to it so obviously on dragonstone a majority of the people that live there aren't actually stormlanders they're actually of the valyrian descent or semi-valyrian you know to a to an extent so the concept is that while living on Dragonstone for the longest time, a lot of the uh, the small folk and the servants, they started calling Doran the Doran, and then it's kind of shortened into Theorin. So now my son's name is Theorin Tanner. And the only reason I chose Theorin is because that same uh, channel member, Spartan, for those of you who know, uh, he suggested that we add him into the game, but because I didn't have any slots, I was like, I can make you my heir. And he's like, yeah, name me Theo. And so I kind of merged the two names together. That way he's still kind of Doran Tanner, but he's also like got the 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 nickname from growing up and being called Theorin by the uh, the Valyrian descent of the small folk on Dragonstone. So this is our son and heir, Theorin Tanner. He's still just a babe. He's uh, uh I think like five, right? I don't I don't remember the last time we uh we actually did anything with him, if I'm being honest. But anyway, lads. The Siege of King's Landing has been a resounding success. And now, oh, Rook's Rest has been taken by uh, Elden Estamont. Lovely. Yeah, we don't have any troops, unfortunately. The new owner of Rook's Rest. Robert Whitehead. Yes, absolutely give it to Robert Whitehead. How lovely. My kinsman, my father by law. Yeah, House Brune does not like us. And it's just because... It's literally just because we're a, a Kingslayer two times over. I don't know, man. That sounds like a skill diff. They sound mad. So, I don't know. Stay mad, I guess. Bastards. Yeah, congratulations to my father by law. Yeah, but we're, we're not doing <laughs> anything right now. We're not getting any kind of troops. I might have to break off this army, if I'm being honest. There you go. We've got one man. Yeah, uh, it's going to suit us best, I think, to disband this army. I'm actually going to go and travel about and replenish my numbers. And then uh, we can also most definitely follow along the footsteps of our king. Yeah, as he uh, takes the fight against these Lannister bastards and their, their allies. Yeah, Haraway is taken... The twins is uh is enemies. Moat Kalen is taken. Yeah, Barrowtown Goldgrass is under siege. That's interesting. How stout Winterfell is taken. That's so sad, dude. The dreadful. High points. Last hearth. Yeah, Carhold hasn't yet uh declared. Yeah, they're still part of the north. That's interesting. Oh, and House Rosby, Jesus. My god, I didn't realize Lordsport was taken by the Starks. Yeah, dude, like this does not bode well for our uh our Ironborn series. 
Because look at how badly they're being shit on by the North. This is such a mistake, dude. <laughs> this is awful. It's alright. At some point, damn. The Glovers made it all the way down here to the Crag. Yeah, the Flints. That's nutsos. Yeah, Silver Hill is taken by the... What's it called? By the damn Brackens. Damn, Stonehenge was taken by a Clan Piper. House Piper, that's interesting. Yeah, we're going to follow in uh, Renly Baratheon's footsteps. Elden Estamont. Our best Bracken. Look at that. Here, since y'all since y'all hate the Bracken so damn much, let's go pick a fight with a Bracken. Dennis. <laughs> come, come along, my lady. Yeah, we're going to fight her. Uh, do you want to duel me first? Yeah, she's going to duel me out. That's fine. We'll duel it out, and then I'll go and kill your men. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeet. Woohoo. Yeet. Oh, shit. Nice try, my lady. Not bad. She did manage to pop off a shot on me, so I'll, I'll give her that. Yeah, we're going to go to battle, and we're going to attack anyway. Treacherous Brackens. There were even Bracken men that were there at the uh, the Red Wedding. At least 10 of them were killed at the Red Wedding. And here they are, uh, bending the knee to these uh, these fucking traitors and Oathbreakers. Soldiers, follow me! All right, with me, lads. Yeah, we'll take a we'll take the fight to these Bracken bastards. Show these Riverlanders to fear the storm. Yeah, look at these little Riverlanders, these little fishmen. Come on. I will say they they do look cool as shit though. I will give them that. Yeah, not bad. I want to come take a better, a closer look at some of these guys. God damn. They're all like face down, but yeah, the armor looks pretty good. The helmet's not bad either. Yeah, they look pretty cool. Definitely have to do a Riverlander series at some point. Very nice. Not bad. So we've taken the fight to these, uh, oh, he's traveling to Dragonstone. My king, he's coming to visit my lands. I see. Ah, uh, no, Adrian Keltigar was taken by Celia. All right, let's find uh, Adrian. Oh, Adrian, Adrian. Last seen near Maidenpool. Yes, yeah, Celia. There we go. Yeah, relinquish, uh, my lord, at once. Send the troops, because we got the full king's army behind us. They killed one of my storm stags, you bastards. Yeah, Adrian Keltigar of the uh, Stormlands has been released. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Yeah, I kind of want to go pick a fight with the uh, with the damn Riverlanders now. These treacherous Riverlanders. Yeah, because we've got two armies already roaming around. King's Landing has been secured. All of... Uh, Blackwater Bay is now secured as well, which isn't bad. It seems like the North is also kind of picking up the fight. Yeah, look at that. The Starks have retaken Gold Grass from House Stout, which is not bad. Tybalt, Craig Hole. Yeah, all we got to do is wipe out the last of these uh, oh, Quincy Cox. Yeah, see, there's a lot of Lannisters around here. Oh, that's an army. Walder Frey's army. Do I want to take my chances? Cause he's got uh he's got 110 cav though do i want to take my chances i feel like that would be one hell of a fight yeah i'm gonna risk it no risk no reward lads well now lord stefan the Stormhammer, do you have anything to say before i give the order to attack i hear you took king's landing yes i did uh spare us both the unnecessary bloodshed why don't you suck my ass I just want to duel him out. Yes, justice. Come on, lads. Justice. Justice for the Red Wedding. Justice for King Rob and Lady Catelyn. 
Yeah, of course he's gonna bring a ranged weapon to a duel. You rat bastard. You old fuck. Look at the man. Yeah, death to Walder Frey. That's crazy. Alright, we've dueled Walder Frey. And we've managed to uh, make our great escape, which is fine. But I think we need to wait until, uh, until more forces join us. Either that or maybe we can start to form up our army again. Let's go by lowest cost. Yeah, 97 men, 118 men. Yeah, these numbers kind of suck, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, come to me, my kinsmen. Yeah, I want them following us. Ah, oh, no. Don't you run away from me, Walder Frey. The North has formed an alliance with the Stormlands. Very nice. That's pretty cool. No, Sebastian, run. Yeah, there we go. He's good. He's good. He's going to make it out of that. 3.5. Yeah, 2.6. He's good. Come on, Sebastian. Are you not in... Oh, no. Sebastian. Yeah, join me. Yes, Corwin. He barely has more men than us. Yes, Anders, sell me. Where'd that bastard go? Our best Bracken escaped. Boo. All right, we outnumber the old toad. Ronit Connington is on our heels too. Perfect. Come on. We have an alliance in the north, lads. Come on, we take him on these mountainsides. He's too far away from the rivers now, lads. There's no help coming for him. 118 cav. We too have 118 cav. That's an impressive. Oh yeah, we just outnumber them by like 30 men. Let's fucking go, dude. It seems that he's uh, healed up now, Lord Stefan. Yeah, it's good to see that you've healed up from your wounds, Lord Walder. Uh, you need some help with a problem. I can help you out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, he wants us to duel him again. Honestly, I'm down with that. I'll take the little bastard on again. Come on, you treacherous little toad. Come and face your defeat at my hands yet again. Yeet. I've always hated crossbows. Took too long to load. Yeah, you little bastard. What is that weapon? Can't tell. It's fine. I don't know if he has, like, a particular weapon we can steal from him. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I might have to execute this man if we take him prisoner. Like, 100% we might. Yeah, we go to battle, lads. It's slightly in our favor, which isn't bad. But we can definitely do it, lads. We should have waited until our, our last two uh, people joined us, but it's honestly fine. I'm not tripping about it. We attack, lads. Once again, the mighty hammer of the Stormlands will swing in the name of King Renly's justice, and we will deliver that justice upon our enemies. Upon the treacherous lords of the Riverlands, upon the treacherous lords of the North, we shall put them to the sword for their treason. Alright, so I've split my infantry. We're kind of uh, on two different flanks here. Yeah, I was about to say, I doubt that they're going to actually come at us, if I'm being honest. Which is fine. I might send my, my cavalry to go and charge at these bastards over here. Roots, charge! Roots! Charge! Soldier, curl them up! Roots! Close in! Yeah, close in there. It's gonna be a bloodbath, lads. Yeah, here they come. Come on, take out their horsemen, lads. Oh, it's gonna be tough. They're gonna run right through us. Yeah, they're going to cut right through us. But it's all right, lads. We face them nonetheless. No mercy for the bastards. Kill the traitors. 
Justice for King Rob. Justice for Lady Catelyn. Justice for all those who gave their lives in the Red Wedding, whose lives were taken from them under the guise and uh, under the guise and falsehoods of uh, of friendship. Yeah, their other cavalry forces were already depleted, which is fantastic, which means I need to send all my men in to finish this fight. But we've still got these lads uh, fucking distracted, which is perfect. Come on, boys. We finish this and we finish it hard. Come on, we need to reinforce our brothers on the front. Come on. Charge in there, you bastards! Come on! With me, lads! With your storm hammer- uh, with your storm lord, what the fuck? <laughs> in the name of your king! Come on, kill the treacherous bastards! Puts every fray man, every Bolton man to the sword. I have your back, soldier. Oh no, now have mine. Oh no. I saved his life and then he abandoned me. What a little dickhead. It's fine. Hiya! All men charge in there. Finish the bastards. Yeah, no escape for anybody who carries the, uh, you know, the Twin Towers banner. Very nice. Look at him go. Very nice. The justice of King Renly. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, man. Seven dead, two Black Forge Knights, two Stag Champions, an Elite Blacksmith, and a Forge Master. Not bad. Sir Thoros Stormsea was taken down. Sir Roderick Hill, but he took two of the bastards with him. 31 kills, four kills for Lady Alara. Certainly not bad. Yeah, not bad, lads. Not bad. Lothar Frey. Yeah, you're my prisoner now. Frito. Oh my god. I don't know who you are, but you're terrifying to behold. Patrick. Oh, did I did I rescue him? Uh, it's good to meet you, Patrick. Oh, what a sweet lad. Being moralistic. I like that. Of House Page. Yeah, good to meet you. Oh, they didn't give us a Walder Frey. That's a damn shame. Ooh, we can get some Realm Knights in here. An Ironborn Brigand. Interesting. No, let's get some uh, Realm Paladins, Realm Knights. Yeah, that way we can bolster our troops. Larian Sea Guard. They're kind of cool. Riverlands, Riverlands. Ooh, House Tully Guard. Yeah, one, two. Very cool. Take those guys. A Dragonstone Horseman. We'll take that guy. Yeah. Valarian Sea Guard, 64. So we have room for two more. Let's get a Dragonstone Bowman and a uh, Valarian Sailor. Why not? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, it's a shame they didn't give us a uh, Walder Frey, but it's almost like they knew. Yeah, look at that. Brendan the Blackfish has taken a uh, River Run, which is fantastic. Yeah, the Twins, Haraway, Salt Pans, Maiden Pool. Come on, Elden, do something. Do not go raiding with 500 men, please. Go besiege something. A Tumbleton. Is the Reach still under attack by the Dornish? Because they're kind of getting shit on. Yeah, Ashford is taken. Jesus, dude. Yeah, Jesus. That's crazy. They're kind of getting shit on. 
Yeah, we're gonna send a raven to uh, King Renly. My friend, it's been a while. So then, what is it? The conquest of salt pans. Our war with the Westerlands is going well enough, but there are some who say that we don't have enough to show for all the blood and silver we've spent. A clear victory at this stage would do a lot of good. I think I would like to see our banner flying from the towers of salt pans. Of course, my lord. Of course, your grace. But sieges are always costly. Yes, they are. That's why I'm offering you the sum of 20,000 dinars if you can take salt pans within 60 days. I count you among the most resourceful of my captains. I think you can do this, with courage, heaven's favor, and a bit of luck. Can I tell my other lords that you will do this? Of course, your grace. Tell them that salt pans will be ours within 60 days. Very good. You have my blessing to summon an army if you wish. Or, if you prefer to strike quickly, you may do so on your own. Well, damn. I meant to drop off our prisoners, but that's alright. I'm glad I picked that up. That's interesting. I had no idea what I was going to do next, if I was being honest. But now, I don't have to guess. I can just come straight over here to salt pans and lay siege to the treacherous Riverlanders. Oh. But first, we got to get there and see what we can see as far as, like, their their overall forces and everything goes as well. I also need some more troops. Oh, no. I still I have my max party already. Forgot about that. Yeah, lowest cost. Colin of Green Pools. That man. Hell, yeah, dude. Yeah, very nice. We've got a lot of, a lot of strong allies. Mary Mertens has created an army. That's lovely. Ooh, Heron Hall was taken by the North. Forgot about that. <gasps> no! Yeah, I was about to say, get lost. Black Walder. He's going to be faster than us. Yeah, by a lot. Walter Bracken. Colin of Greenpools. Yeah, bring your asses, my friends. Yeah, Black Walder. Robert Whitehead. Yeah, we've got two more people coming to, to join us in this fight. Jane Westerling. Yeah, 695 defenders here. We might need some more men, if I'm being honest. Not a whole lot, but still more, you know? I think Bryce Karen would definitely help out here. Because that's another 100 men. Lothar Frey escaped, yeah. Alright, we besiege the, sa the town of Salt Pans. Nice. Bryce Karen, lovely. Yeah, look at that. And we got 500 men from uh, Elden Estremont's um, army as well. Yeah, I am commanding the besiegers. Remember that. Mary Mertens is nearby. I wonder what she's going to do. Is she going to join us in the siege? That's insane. We have 1,600 men here. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, we should have a lot more than that. Yeah, that's weird. I wonder if it's just going to max us out. Because there's 800 people here, 500 people here, and then my 1,100. Yeah, that's odd. It should be over 2,000 by now. There we go. Jesus, it just took a second, I guess. My God. We have 2,400 men. One hell of a force, lads. We're going to have to uh, up our our cohesion in just a moment one two three Whew. costly all right have at them lads clear out their defenses and we'll lead the assault oh was that it oh yeah that was uh it was pretty fast I'm not gonna lie all righty lads our quest given to us by our chosen king renly baratheon we take salt pans. And with 2,500 men, we better, we better be able to take the goddamn city. So we lead our assault. Justice at long last. Justice for the uh, the Red Wedding. Justice for all the wrong done by Houses Frey and Lannister. And the damned Boltons, but they're not this far south. So, can't really blame them for this one, can I? <laughs> Alright, lads, let's fucking do this. The Siege of Salt Pans is underway. 
Yeah, look at these mad lads. With me now, men of the Stormlands. We take the fight to these bastards. Yeah, look at these loyal men. Loyal men all. Jesus. Look at all the archers moving in. Look at House Keltgar in the back. House Mertens. House, uh... Oh, I forgot what that one is. The, the checkerboard one. The black and white one. I forgot what those guys were. But yeah, man. This is going to be absolutely epic. This city has been marked by your king. He said, take this city in 60 days. And we shall answer that call, lads. Doing damage to my own siege towers. Love that. Damn. Nice. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Nice. Come on, boys. We take this, uh, we take this bloody city in the name of our king. Leave no man standing, leave nothing unturned, and root out and kill every single one of these traitors and oath breakers. We now hold the capital of the realm, lads, and yet they call us rebels. No longer. We are the righteous and rightful. We are the only true-born sons of this realm, and all those who stand against us are bastard pretenders and usurpers all. Follow me now. Lend your strength to my arms, and we shall swing the righteous hammer of King Renly's justice upon his enemies. I'm over here, like, actually dealing damage to my own siege tower. <laughs> Whoops. With me now, lads. Now with me. We take the fight to the bastards. Nice. Infantry are assaulting the walls. Perfect. Hiya! Come on. Come on, top attack, top attack. Please, come on. There we go. Ah, oh, they knocked me down. That's fine. Hey, I'm behind them, lads. Don't worry. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They're behind us, lads. Run. Go on, kill the bastards. Oh, I'm surrounded. Yeah, there we go. Storm the storm the walls, lads. Kill the bastards. Look at them flee. You are a shameful excuse for Lannisters. Kill the bastards all. Damn, dude. Ooh, ooh. Aw, damn. My directional control is pretty ass. Oh, was that Sir Thoros? Yeah, very nice. Look at the Queen's man. Stormland's Fell Knight. Where are my companions at? Show me somebody. Tarth Halberdiers. I guess not. That's fine. I don't really care. <laughs> it's fine. Very nicely done. 
Oh no, Donald Swan. Is he one of mine? Oh, he sure is. Oh no, Balin Swan, yeah. Oh no, where is he? Donald Swan, he was killed in combat. Ah, oh, that's awful. That's so sad. He died in service to his king. There is no greater cause than that. Ah, oh, that's so heartbreaking. My heart goes out to the, uh, you know, to House Swan and their loss. There we go. Sir Jeremy Steed now has his own flag to carry in a battle. I love that. Ah, oh, I forgot to take the rest of the fucking loot. Dumbass. Ah, I'm mad as hell, dude. I can't believe I just did that. Donald Swan has died in battle. Ah, oh, that's so sad. Mon Monteros Valarian does not want us to show mercy here. Sure, we can pillage. I don't give a shit. That's fine. Yeah, House Cox does not like us, but that's alright. They're enemies, so I don't give a shit. I let us recruit some troops. There's nobody to recruit, which is fine. Tavern District. We can ransom everybody except for Frito. Yeah, I, I low-key hope we can give this army to, uh, or this, you know, the city of Saltpans to House Swan. Because, uh, you know, they they definitely bled. They gave their lives for the for the city, that's for damn sure. Yeah, let's see how we're doing diplomatically. Let's see how this war is going. Yeah, the Stormlands. The Westerlands are at war with the North, the Reach, the Riverlands, and the Stormlands. That's nutsos. They have 6,600 strength left, guys. Yeah, they don't have much left in them. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't really know if we need to stay in this army. But at the same time, I kind of just want to go out and... Take the fight to the bastards. Oh, the Tullys have retaken Silver uh, Silver Hill, which is good. So, like, Maidenpool is kind of across the way. So, I mean, if, if we wanted to go and attack Maidenpool, I feel like we can. Adrian Keltigar. Yeah, they, they kind of wanted to go to Adrian. That's fine. Ardrian, sorry. Ardrian. Yeah, they got they got caught between us because they were out there chasing pirates. That's amazing. Ooh, Lord Harwood Stout, can I get him to join us? He doesn't like that I'm I'm I don't have high enough honor. That was a critical success though. Well, I can't argue with that. I gave an oath to my liege. If he ever violated his oath to you, it absolves you of your duty to him. And we all know that. Uh, Lord Tywin is not an honorable man. Come on, give me one more, dude. Oh, it's fucking perfect. I've always stood by Tywin Lannister. No, you haven't. You're literally a northerner. You rat bastard. Nice. We've got him to switch sides. Bro, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. All right, he, he needs some reassurance. What do you need? Oh my god, bro. Come on. That's ridiculous. Literally half my fucking money, jackass. Ugh. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna send the troops on the rest of these, these people. Perfect. Yeah, not bad. That's interesting. So now how Stout has joined, uh... Yeah, has joined us. That's interesting. Oh, look, they gave uh, gold grass to house, uh, Forrester of Ironwood. Or Iron Ra Iron Wrath, yeah, yeah, that's very interesting. I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot we can convince people to like switch sides. That's pretty cool. I forgot about that. For Serena, sure, I don't give a shit. Uh, we besiege the town of Maidenpool. Yeah, we have them outnumbered, lads. Not by much, but we have them outnumbered. Those of us who are wounded must uh, heal ourselves in the time being, seek medical treatment, and uh, and be prepared for this next assault. Once we take Maidenpool, the whole of the East will have been uh, liberated. Oh, look at that. House fell. Yes, coming to the rescue, bro. Come and take down these fucking Marbrins. Oh, look at that. And we've maxed out our two-handed skills, dude. That's insane. Way of the Great Axe. Plus two... 
plus 0.2% attack speed with two-handed weapons for every skill point above 250. Plus 0.5% damage with two-handed weapons for every skill point above 250. Not bad. So now every time we get, you know, more XP in uh, two-handed, we're going to get faster speed and faster or and, uh, better strength. That's awesome. Roderick Hill. Let's give him a, let's give him confidence. Being all scarred up, taking that bolt to the face. He's he's like a new man now, so he's got more confidence. Uh for his athletics, let's give him let's give him braced. Like he's got a, a nice strong foundation, despite the fact that he doesn't like carry a shield. Whenever the uh the cavalry comes charging at him, he's nice and braced. He's got a firm foundation, and he's ready to fucking go. I like it. All right, we continue building for the time being, lads. I want to clear out all these uh, fire catapults so my men don't die in this battle. Die horrible, burning deaths. Yeah, we're running out of influence. So we got to... Probably going to have to break up this army pretty soon. All right, lads. Open fire on them. Take them down. Take down those ranged catapults, lads. Yeah, rip down their siege defenses. And then we can lead our assault safely. Come on, take down that ballista. Come on, dude. Thank you. Jesus. It took entirely too long. Yeah, those ballistas went up and uh, Sir Roderick was like, <laughs> like terrified. <laughs> I can imagine. Anyway, lads, finally the Siege of Maidenpool is underway. Let us get to it, lads. Alrighty, lads. Here we go again. Another siege battle ready to go. Yeah, we've got we've got bigger siege towers this time. Yeah, look at the men moving out. Come on, lads. Oh, this is this is one hell of a sight. This is so cool, dude. Archers open fire on their positions. Got to keep their men pinned down so that our infantry can safely uh, approach. I feel like I'm so focused. I'm so locked in right now. It's not even funny. Oh, God bless. Come on, lads. Yeah, we're doing a good bit of kills just with our archers right now uh, at this point. Yeah, but here comes their infantry, lads. I think I might actually wait for the the main assault rather than jumping in on the siege towers cuz I always get down, I always get pinned down over on the the siege the siege assault. Oh, hello lads. And look at all these Stormland Thunder Knights. That's amazing. Ah, oh, beautiful lads, beautiful. Yeah, very nice. The battering ram is underway. Let's get our men up there, boys. Yeah, I didn't want to have to wait. Let's just get up there and start knocking the bastards down. Throw them from the top of their walls. Oh my. You've got audacity, little lion cub. There we go. 
There we go. Over here, shattering shields. Jesus. Cry. Yeah, you are. Very nice. Yeah, come on, lads. A majority of them are over here. With me, lads. Clear the walls. Come on, kill the bastards. Oh, that's our man. Go on, lads. Fuck them in the ass. Don't actually do that. Sorry. That's just what they would say in this situation. When you're when you're getting attacked on the backside, that's what they say. I swear. I, I've been re-watching Game of Thrones. I swear it's what they actually say. Come on, boys. Take them down. Come on. Come on, bastard lions. Come on, we've got them on the run. Yeah, lots of two-handed skill now, boys. Oh, damn. Yeah, look at the mad lads go, that's crazy. Colin of Green Pools. The man himself. Attaboy, Colin. Victory, lads. Another siege battle done. Another city flying the banner of House Baratheon. Oh, I love that. We lost one man. Yeah, we're going to jump in on this attack as well with our Black Forge Knights. We're going to get Sir Roderick. Ronit Connington, because he's a friend of ours. Sir Jeremy's going to join us. Lady Alara is going to join us. Uh, and I think Robert Whitehead, our father by law. Yeah, so we've got our closest friend, three of our uh, top companions, and then a bunch of goddamn uh, Black Forge Knights and our father in law. So this should be interesting. With me, lads, I'll lead the assault here. Watch the arrow fire. Clear the uh clear the keep, lads. Whoops. Yeah, clear them out. Look at Lady Alara taking charge. First one through the breach. Come on, lads. Not bad. 
Sir Roderick with three kills, man. Hell yeah. He was ready to fucking go. He was ready to get that shit going. Ooh, a steel banner. Very nice. We got a new banner to utilize. And I remember to actually take the goddamn <laughs> the rest of the loot. All right, Lady Alara is the only one who doesn't have a, a banner. So now she's got the standard of duty. Because she's a dutiful soldier. I like her. If the age gap wasn't too uh, too wide, I definitely would have married her off to my son and heir. Uh, we're actually going to show mercy. Oh, I did not mean to take that. Whoops. Uh, I accidentally own maiden pool. I'm actually going to uh, get rid of this, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, we're just going to give it away to the realm. Yeah, and they're going to vote on it. Can I give it to... Uh... Nah, they're not going to swing that way. And I don't want to waste the uh, the influence. That's fine. Good on you, Adrian. So now he controls salt pans and maiden pool. Both sides of this uh, this little split of uh, whatever. Oh, Mary Mertens laying siege to Haraway, which means I can head north to the twins. Um, Moat Kalen is under siege. That's crazy. Yeah, we're pushing in on the north now, lads. They don't have anything left, The uh, these Lannisters. Yeah, the whole of the east and the whole of the west have been liberated. And soon the Riverlands, too, shall be liberated. Oh, yeah, I forgot we have House Stout with us now. So let's get a couple more men in here. I don't see why not. Lionel Corbray, traveling to Tumbleton of the Vale. Oh, did the Vale finally jump into the, uh, to the fight? Oh, no, not yet. Who's the Vale at war with, then? Dorn. Ah, I see. I think they're just patrolling for now, perhaps? Oh, nice. They've taken Haraway. That's beautiful, lads. Vote for the new owner of Haraway. Justin Massey. You know what? You deserve it, my friend. Congrats. Yeah, not bad. Attaboy, Justin Massey. How many fiefs do we have in this goddamn... God, we got 18 castles and 10... Uh, and 10 towns. That's absolutely insane. The Westerlands have 5 and 6 left. That's it. Yeah, what are their 5? They have the Twins, Barrowtown, Winterfell, and the Dreadfort. That's 4 on Last Hearth. Okay, and then obviously all of the... The castles in between, like the rills. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, so all their all their castles are over here on the uh, the Iron Islands. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Ah, uh, Bernard has met up with us. That's perfect. Where are these guys going now? Traveling to Riverband. Perfect. And here we are, lads, at the Twins, at the crossing. And we besiege the town. Oh, they have 908 defenders here. Ooh, those are tough numbers, guys. Those are tough numbers. But I think... I think we can do it. I need one of these other armies to join us. Either Mary or Elden. Illyria Dane, perfect. Walder Frey himself being chased down by Eric Dondarrion. Get him, Eric. Get his ass. William Mooton. Of House Mooton. Ah. Uh, House Mooton of, Baden of Maidenpool, I see. Do are they not like... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he's just randomly declaring war on us. That's fine. Good luck. Aw, oh, come on. That's alright. Walder Frey is going to get away for now. Oh, I didn't realize my party was starving. Shit. That's awful. I have not been paying attention. I'm not even going to lie. But we're at our max party. This is all the men that we could muster for now. And we just barely outnumber them. But now, the Siege of the Crossing, the Siege of the Twins is underway. Knock down their defenses, tear down their towers. Come on. 
There we go. That was kind of simple. I'm not going to lie. Not bad. And it's a midnight goddamn siege t uh, siege battle too. We're actually going to let the time pass by because I want to do this in the daytime. I want him to see us coming because unlike his cowardly ass. Yeah, there we go. Unlike Walder Frey, the coward, he's going to see us coming. He's going to see the knife when we, uh, we plunge it into his heart. But that will be for next week's episode, lads. Once again, I will leave you on a cliffhanger. We've taken justice to the Westerlands. They have nothing left except the strength of their allies. The, uh, the false Boltons of the North and the false uh, Freys of the Riverlands. And even then, this is their final stronghold and the final step before we uh, join our forces, our allies in the North, the, rem the remnants of House Stark and... Uh, and liberate all of Westeros from the grasp of Tywin Lannister forever. But until next week's episode, lads, always remember honor and service, glory and sacrifice. And I, your Lord Commander, will see you in the battles ahead. Goodbye, my friends.